Hi, I'm Austin Zimmerman, product specialist here at Houston Metal Sawing. Houston Metal Sawing is an industrial metal processing facility, and you may have heard that we'll tackle those oversized 60 inch jobs, but we're also capable of tackling intricate cuts such as this two and a half inch titanium. Titanium is a very sought after material, being that it's high strength, high corrosion resistant, but it's lightweight. It's used in the aerospace, the medical, and even the automotive industries. In particular, we're going to be cutting a two and a half inch round solid stock, and we're going to be processing it on our Veloc 330 horizontal bandsaw. This bandsaw is a full CNC capable machine, so we can set that part up and essentially walk away from it, and it'll process the entire job for us. It has a 13 inch cut capacity with an inch and a quarter blade. An inch and a quarter blade that we have on this machine today is Sawblade.com's Q1002 triple chip carbide blade. That triple chip carbide blade is engineered to tackle exotic alloys such as this titanium here. It's got a great heavy set tooth on it that's going to give us the best blade life and the best cut in exotic alloys. When setting up on a cut such as this intricate titanium, we're going to be using Sawbladedata.com. Sawbladedata.com gives you a great starting point no matter the project that you're tackling. So we can see here that Sawbladedata.com gave us a recommendation for our cutting range from a 1.89 to a 378 using a carbide blade. He gave us a speed range of 116 feet per minute on blade speed and our completion times here are an indication of our cut rate. So this gives us a cue to go off of so that way we know how fast we're actually cutting that part. So in a normal situation here, we're probably gonna be using the medium production rate, cutting that material at a minute and 34 seconds. But if we did need to have this material expedited, we could take it a step further and save us some blade life. And we could go with this blade saver rate, cutting the material at two minutes and 36 seconds. Finally, sawbladedata.com gave us the best recommendation for tooth pitch being a 3-4, but it also gives us a second option. If you didn't have that blade on hand, a 2-3 would do just as well. We're gonna take it one step further and we're gonna evaluate the chip. The chip is the best indication of how the cutting process is actually going. And when cutting exotic alloys, you don't wanna see any discoloration in the chip. Unlike when you're cutting mild steels, a straw brown is acceptable when you're trying to tackle high production rates. But when you're cutting an exotic, you don't wanna see any discoloration. The chip should be the same color as the material when you started. If you do see discoloration, you've probably got too much speed or too much feed pressure. And what that's gonna cause is work hardening, you've probably trashed the part, or in worst case scenario, you break a tooth off in that part and it's no longer salvageable. In base case scenario, the chip that you wanna see is a nice light curly Q being developed. If you notice that your chips are breaking up and they're very thin, you've probably got not enough feed pressure when doing a high tensile strength material, or if they're too tightly wound, you've probably got too much feed rate. When you're cutting exotic materials in high strength situation, you're gonna build up a lot of heat. So you're gonna to wanna to use a sawing fluid. In particular, we're using Sawblade.com's C5200 sawing fluid. It is a great workhorse semi-synthetic fluid that's got good lubricity and it's got a nice detergent package. So not only is it gonna keep the part in the blade cool during the cutting process, but it's also gonna clean and keep the chips ejected throughout the whole cutting project. Another part that's taken for granted on most bandsaws is the use of a chip brush. A chip brush is a small part of every bandsaw, but it has a large role. Its role essentially is to keep the chips ejected from the gullet. You do not want those chips following back into the cut, especially when doing solids. What that can cause is blade deflection from overfeeding, or in worst case scenarios, you can probably chip a tooth off and it could end up in the part. And again, you could trash the pole part, if not even the blade and hurt the machine. Finally, the use of an industrial carbide guide is gonna give an accurate cut on this entire project and projects to come. Here at Houston Metal Sawing, we change our guides once, twice, maybe even three times a year to keep up with the high production volume that we do here at Houston Metal Sawing, give us an accurate cut for our customers time and time again. You can get your industrial carbide guides if you're in the industry at sawblade.com where they have a wide variety of industrial carbide guide kits for many major bandsaw manufacturers. And as always, you can get fast same day shipping and they're competitively priced. Houston Metal Sawing has been in the industry for over 50 years. And we have a very large capacity from 3 8 all the way up to five foot in cut diameter with a variety of horizontal and vertical bandsaws with a 25 ton crane that services the entire facility. 
So no matter whether it's a big industrial oversized job or something intricate like this titanium, request a quote at HoustonMetalSawing.com.